Hi, my name is Rachel and this is my story. In eighth grade, I developed an eating disorder. I would constantly look at my peers around me and try to change myself in order to fit in. In ninth grade, I got signed to a modeling agency. I didn't get any jobs, so I felt like I had to change myself in order to get jobs. I started looking up videos of runway shows and started looking at magazines and I realized that models had that perfect body or they were just all bones and I felt like I had to look like that in order to get jobs, in order to be worthy in the... I'd always look in the mirror and pick out flaws. I would only see flaws. I would see nothing but flaws. I started to put myself out there more in the modeling industry and when I would get people telling me to lose a couple inches off my hips or grow a couple inches in order to get jobs and I felt like I had to start my eating disorders. Bulimia is when you throw up the food after you ate it. There were days where I went without eating and then when I finally gave in I would puke it back up and I would just feel really disgusting and disappointed in myself for giving in. I wasn't happy with myself, so I felt like I had to be bulimic and be anorexic in order to be happy, in order to actually fit in and get jobs. In my sophomore year of high school, I started hanging out with people who would always party, and I felt like I had to do that in order to fit in, in order to be cool, but that never really gave me the real kind of happy. I never felt good enough, I didn't feel worthy, and I felt like I had to keep maintaining this perfect image when really, in reality, that perfect image does not exist. After years of having eating disorders, I just, I felt very unhealthy. I felt just weak and I didn't feel good. I just felt tired, I felt sluggish, I, I didn't feel like myself. to the doctor's the one day and they said that I had acid reflux and that was because of being bulimic. So one night I was in my bedroom by myself and I just started to think about life and the choices that I made and where the decisions that I'm making will lead me. I ruined my body, I ruined my teeth and I realized that I, I'm, I was going nowhere. I was making decisions that I knew that the people that I love would not like and would not appreciate it. Thinking about how unhappy and lost I just felt and I felt like I was missing this huge part of me and I couldn't figure out what it was. But then I realized that I was missing a relationship with Jesus Christ. I started attending Res Life and hanging out with people from there and that definitely did make a huge impact. I started becoming the real kind of happy because of that and I I was just more full of life. I found myself. Purity is very important to me and a huge part of my life and because I choose not to have sex before marriage I would always get picked on at high school because of that I would get called names like Virgin Mary and that kind of did, that did bring me down, but you know what, now I'm happy that I've chosen that way of life. When I come to church, I know I don't have to change myself. I know I don't have to be someone I'm not in order to fit in. They accept me for who I am. They love me for who I am. They don't judge me, and I just, I feel very welcome and loved here. Getting into drinking and drugs and going to party, it, doesn't really satisfy you, it just gives you this temporary happy and if you feel like giving in to peer pressure, don't because it doesn't give you that lasting happiness. It just fills you up with regret and pain and you have people that care about you. you, they're surrounding you, you don't need to surround yourself with the wrong kind of people that don't accept you for who you are and that make you do life threatening decisions. When you make a decision just to please someone, it doesn't turn out the way you would think it would. The best decision that I ever made was 
getting involved with Res Life and having a relationship with Jesus Christ has definitely made an impact on my life. The best part of being in a relationship with Jesus Christ is you just feel at peace. You feel this unforgettable warmth and love and you're you just you're happy. You're at peace with yourself and everything that surrounds you. In John 117 it says that you are created in his own image. You are created with greatness. So I feel like if you ever feel like you're not good enough for anyone, just look up to God, read your Bible, read that verse, and remind yourself that you are perfect in God's image. You are great in his image. You don't have to try to change yourself for anyone because God created you and you should be happy. In God's eyes, I know I'm perfect. Hi, I'm Rachel, I'm 17, and this story changed mine.